this is my second video on how to import vouchers from excel to tally uh, and uh, always please refer to my previous video and as you know there are a lot of benefits uh, uh, in preparing vouchers in excel and importing later written to tally uh, especially uh, when the entries are bulk in nature like uh, salary disbursement and repetitive in nature and also uh, when you uh, are inputting entries from uh, a bank statement uh, or likewise and in my previous video uh, I had uh, in the previous method I had used uh, Microsoft Word to create XML file in uh, using the mail merge feature and in this method I am skipping that feature uh, that step and I am creating the XML file directly from the Excel so uh, first you have to create necessary ledgers and I have created two sample ledgers under sundry creditors ABC wholesalers and XYZ distributors and another one called medicine purchase under purchase accounts and you have to make a sample entry now I am creating a journal voucher debiting medicine purchase 2000 rupees and crediting ABC wholesalers 2000 rupees and narration I am putting it as test save the uh, voucher now as the next step uh, you have to export that sample voucher uh, into XML format and that is to create uh, a template for our import process so for that you take the day book and note that there shall be only one single voucher uh, for that particular day and uh, use alt e uh, please note that the format shall be uh, xml uh, all those settings are not important exported now that exported file will be located in tally folder called daybook.xml move that file to desktop I am using uh, notepad++ for xml uh, editing see that uh, that particular voucher has been exported as xml now this can be used as a template for our import process now the next step is to create the data for import in an excel file note that the columns must be in the same order as it appears in the xml file see first is uh, the date you can ignore all those static values I am talking only about the variable values the next is narration and the, uh, and the next is party ledger name similarly uh, when you import uh, uh, when you, when you uh, mention the party ledger names or the ledger names the tally identifies the ledgers with the ledger names only there are no other unique identifiers so there must not be any typing mistake while you input the ledger names for that the best method is to export the list of ledgers as a text file and you can copy paste those names to the excel file it is very important and the date must be formatted in this manner the order of the columns must be the same as it appears in the XML file now take the XML template we just exported it from tally and separate the portion from tally message XML tag to its corresponding closing tag. See this portion 
is that which we are going to replace using some technique the header portion and the footer portion must be intact we are only going to replace this middle portion also just remove these identifiers from voucher tag and GUID tag ok and you can also remove this effective date tag you can remove that completely so now the template is ready this portion this middle portion is that which we are going to replace uh, using some technique now we have to make some modifications in the XML uh, portion which we have to replace so I am copying that portion to a new file see what we are going to do is we are removing the line breaks and uh, making it to a single line for that you can do this manually like this like this like this or if you are using notepad plus plus you can do this in a single stretch okay and now we have to separate the static data and the variable data into separate lines okay the date we are going to replace is here that is a variable data the others are static data so we have to make it into separate lines now I have made all the static data into separate lines and the variable data into another line now we will take the excel sheet which contains the data and insert one column in between each columns now after that it will look like this now I'm going to copy paste each XML tag set into respective columns please note that the variable data will be taken from the excel sheet data now drag the values uh, to the bottom to fill all rows which the with the same uh, value and in the last blank column use the concatenate function to combine all the columns in one single row thereafter you drag that uh, cell to the bottom so that that formula is filled into all the cells 
now what you do is just copy that last column alone copy and paste it into a separate file it will look like this this file should be saved uh, as a separate file and this is going to be imported now open the original template file and uh, we know that this middle portion is going to be replaced so select that middle portion delete it and paste this data in that place and I am saving it as import.xml now before we import this into tally take the tally configuration general and there is a setting called ignore errors and continue during data import make it yes and select import of data vouchers and it is imported now see the day book it is imported all the vouchers have been imported 